Best Cold Brew Coffee Maker To make the best coffee you need the right equipment. There are dozens of brands out there so making the right decision is not easy. Thankfully we have done all the research for you. Each product is carefully analyzed, and crucial factors like the price, features, pros, and cons are considered. Watch this video to find out the top picks and check out the product links below. Let's see the best products this year. Now, you can make ready-to-drink authentic cold brew in as little as 25 minutes with the Cuisinart Automatic Cold Brew Coffee Maker. Unlike manual cold brewers that take 12 hours or more to prepare, our unique spin technology circulates coffee through the water for a total flavor extraction in a fraction of the time. By using this process, the coffee has a naturally sweeter and smoother flavor profile without the acidic taste that's often produced when using high heat to brew coffee. The Cuisinart Automatic Cold Brew Coffee Maker produces cup after cup of perfect cold brewed coffee with just a push of a button. Simply choose from your favorite strength of mild, medium, or bold and enjoy amazing coffee flavors. Maintaining your coffee maker is simple and easy as all removable parts are dishwasher safe, while the seven cup glass carafe can be used to store your cold brewed coffee in the fridge for up to two weeks. There's never been a quicker or more efficient way to enjoy smooth, flavorful, cold-brewed coffee with the automatic cold-brew coffee maker. Cuisinart. Savor the good life. Hi, my name's Matt. I'm the production manager over here at Toddy. Today I'm going to be demonstrating to you how to brew a batch of coffee using the Toddy Cold Brew System Home Mod. Alright, first what we're going to do is we're going to grab our rubber stopper and insert it into the bottom of the brewing container. We don't want to push too hard because then we run a risk of cracking it. Now that the rubber stopper is in the bottom of our brewing container, let's grab a, a glass and some water and we'll stick our felt filter in the bottom of the glass some water to it. We just want to make sure it's damp on both sides. Let's stick that right in the bottom of our brewing container. Alright, so what we've done here at Toddy is we've created our new paper filter. What this does is it increases the amount of concentrate you can yield. It also extends the life of your felt filter and makes cleanup a breeze. We'll insert that into our brewing container. All right, now that our paper filter is all situated in our brewing container, let's grab our coffee. Got 12 ounces of again freshly roasted coarse ground coffee. I'm going to just add all 12 ounces right into my filter bag. So our coffee is good to go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some water. We can add all seven cups. Seven cups of water are in. 
Now, we're allowed to break the golden toddy rule and stir our coffee. We get our coffee nice and stirred up, making sure all the grounds are evenly saturated. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the top of our filter here. We're just gonna go ahead and twist it shut. We will allow that to brew for our 12 to 24 hours. We'll come back and check in on that in a little bit. All right, here we are again, our magical 12 to 24 hours later. We're gonna take our brewing container and allow it to drain into our decanter. Take a couple minutes to drain down a little bit. Take this whole guy and toss it right into the trash. And we've got an airtight cap here for the top of our brewing container. This allows us to store it in the refrigerator for up to two weeks without any flavor changes. Uh, this is a coffee concentrate which can be diluted one part coffee to about three parts water, milk, whatever you like to drink your coffee with. For more information and recipe guides, check out toddycafe.com. Stay tuned for more videos from me and my fellow co-workers over here at Toddy. Thanks for watching.